Welcome back to the show. I'm JT. Every team has a great commander-in-chief inside the locker room. And for the silver and black, it's Richard Seymour. The three-time Super Bowl champion shows up every Sunday, not only for his teammates and his coaches, but for you fans in the stands. His impact was felt immediately. In 2009, just two days after arriving in Oakland, newly acquired defensive lineman Richard Seymour recorded six tackles and two sacks in his first game as a Raider. After eight seasons with the Patriots, Seymour proved a true pirate, starting all 16 games last season for the Silver and Black while posting 47 tackles and four sacks on the year. I was ready to play football because I trained my butt off in the offseason and I wanted to play football. It means a great deal to me in my life. Seymour's resume speaks for itself. A three-time Super Bowl champ and five-time pro bowler, he stands at six feet six inches tall and weighs more than 300 pounds, making him a nightmare in a quarterback's periphery or a running back's path. And while he may be feared by his opponents, his ominous image is welcomed by his comrades. When he comes through the door, not only do you notice him with your eyes, but his, his whole presence, you know, he exudes some sort of leadership, something that you should aspire to be. And when you put on that silver and black, I mean, it's a mentality that goes along with that. When I step on the field as a Raider, you carry that attitude that we're here to play football. It comes a point in a man's life when he has to step up, I don't care what kind of man you are, in his sophomore season with the Raiders, number 92 has logged a decade in the NFL and found his job as a veteran extends beyond setting the tone on game day, but paying it forward every day in between. When I came into the league, I had a lot of guys to show me the way, so I just feel like it's only right that I grab some guys, you know, who want to come aboard, you know, who, who are willing vessels to say, hey, I see what it takes to be a champion. You know, I see what it takes to prepare myself to be successful in this league. So guys like that, I want to help. I want to show. He stood in front of the team, and he had his Super Bowl rings with him. I'll never forget it. He said, I've won these rings, but the group that I'm standing in front of today is more talented than any of those groups that I won these rings with. Here's the fake stretch left to roll right Orton gets sacked again by Richard Seymour. They are just being blown right out of their own field. He's well respected around the NFL. He has the respect of the coaches here um, and all of the players here. And, you know, I look up to him um, because he has a lot of experience. He has a lot of success in the NFL, and I'm trying to do some of the things that he's already accomplished. Being a team leader was expected, but Seymour's selfless approach was a welcome surprise. Last year, he played every position on the D-line, but in 2010, he's been primarily used as a run-stuffing defensive tackle, sacrificing his personal stats for the betterment of his team, concentrating on doing his job so his teammates can focus on their own task at hand. I want to look on the film and say, okay, well, you know, 92, he's, he's doing what it takes, you know. 21, he's doing what it takes. You know, 93, he's doing what it takes. When you have guys doing that, that's ultimately taking the next step. Richard Seymour's been referred to as one of the best defensive linemen in the NFL. His unique ability to take charge vocally while backing it up physically not only makes him a complete player, it makes him a complete leader. Richard Seymour with the sack. Believe him, you know, and he knows that we have what it takes to win. Jumps on three. One, two, three. Don't work.